Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, as well as the Breakers news video. Today, my friends, we got a brand new raid. It should have already started, or it will be starting a little bit later today, depending on your time zones. As always, check back and forth. Uh, Xenoverse has been doing a pretty good job, I think, of notifying players that an event is going on. Now, one thing I want to mention uh, before we go any further is that there was a tournament. There was a uh, Theme 1 Budokai Summer Warrior 1 Budokai tournament or whatever uh, that I believe was uh, occurring over the weekend. Uh, I completely glazed over this just because it was a pretty packed weekend in terms of news and information. We had stuff regarding Kakarot. We had stuff for, obviously, Xenoverse 2, the new DLC Pack 15 uh, reveal and stuff. So uh, I just... It, it didn't cross my mind that they were going to do a little, you know, weekend update or whatever. But, um, I mean, again... I'm sure if you guys really cared about doing these tournaments and stuff, you'd probably get notified from in-game. Uh, like I said, Xenoverse has been doing a pretty good job of that. So uh, if you did miss it, I'm sure they're going to have other tournaments later on. Um, and I do apologize again uh, in advance or whatever if I do miss another one of these events. But uh, this one is new, and I'm on time for it. So we're good to go. anti mass Saiyan Light. Who is the mass Saiyan? Bro, I'm getting tired of that meme, honestly. <laughs> Bardock Sass is back at it again. Okay, raid boss battle. I wonder if they're doing this because of the new Dragon Ball Heroes crap that came out recently. Um, I think there's like only one new artwork, and I don't even think it's like brand new, brand new. I think they've already given this out before, but I think it is from DLC Pack uh, 14, which obviously was the uh, previous one. So this will be lasting until September 11th. So September 5th to the 11th, uh, it'll be ending on a Sunday. It is not a... Oh, no, no, it is. It is a light raid. Okay, so this will be over the shop area, not the uh, time controller, you know, parallel quest versus mode area and stuff. Uh, 50 TP medals, Saint badge, the same participation rewards. Uh, 5k damage will be 50 TP medals, street name more, uh, Mira's Super Soul. Someone please satisfy me. The metal... I can't even speak. The metal cooler suit, the hands and the shoes... And the Santa hat. What is this, bro? <laughs> what? Metal coolers suit for the hands and shoes and then Santa's hat. Am I missing something here? Okay, 15k damage. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku Super Soul. Let's go to the Super Final Battle. As well as uh, Super Soul Sun Gohan Adolescent, aka Teen or whatever. Adult Gohan. This is Us. Sunoro. And the Santa costume the top. Okay, 30k damage. Street name back. Metal cooler suit, top and bottom. Illustration 245. Which I mean is very fitting. Mira Toa <clears throat> and the Mass Saiyan uh Hero Coliseum artwork or whatever. I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. Um again, from DLC 14, but I don't I think they gave this out. I feel like they did. Um, but da, 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 and Santa costume bottom and then 50k damage is street name original super soul from Toa the revival of the dark demon world is imminent Mira super soul I will use your energy in the Santa costume hands and then for 100k damage which they rarely do reward so get 100k damage and you get the street name Avenger uh, Son Goku super soul well let's start the second round and the Santa costume shoes Pretty random. But yeah, guys, uh, good luck. Have fun on the raid. Again, I, I don't understand why the Santa costume and Metal Cooler's clothing is being uh, given out. It's kind of weird. But um, hey, maybe there's something I'm missing here. And y'all will correct me like y'all always do. So let's get into the breakers. There are some scans here. Um, I'll link the actual person that put this in my Discord. Um, I could not find these anywhere else. DVS Hype never tweeted about it. This is from the Psycho Jump uh, for, I believe... August slash September. Uh, nobody was talking about this. I guess because it's kind of minor, but there are some new reveals in here, which uh, we're already in leaks and stuff that I do want to talk about. So, uh, Frieza. We got some new Frieza artwork, which looks really clean. By the way, I know these the scans don't look the best. I try to upscale them as best as I can. Uh, it smooth things out, but for the most part, it's going to be kind of hard to maybe read things or whatever. But uh, we have all of Frieza's forms, which looks awesome. I love the final form Frieza artwork. That looks freaking fantastic. Pretty sure they're getting the same people um, or whoever, like, I don't know if it's Fenyo or whoever uh, is working on Dragon Ball Legends artwork. 
they got the same exact type of style, which is pretty cool. So we know Fr Frieza was revealed and everything. We know what he does. There's nothing new here other than uh, just probably some of the artwork and everything. But I did want to at least show that off, okay? So moving on here, we have a very, very generic uh, page. Uh, I'm not going to go over translations for this one at all just because it's it, it just gives you the overview of the game and everything everything that we already know. Okay, there's nothing new here. Um, moving on here, there should be one. Here it is. Okay, so this scan reveals, okay, and I'm pretty sure this will be hopefully integrated into the next beta, which uh, they're going to have to do a beta probably either this month or right before they release it next month, okay? Uh, they did state, I believe, that they wanted to do an open beta, if I'm not mistaken. So that's going to be good because everybody will be able to try it out. And uh, last beta for the closed beta, they did have it on console. So you most likely will be able to do this on console, PC, any device. Uh, it's pretty much for every single console, including PC and stuff. So as you can see, we have the Dragon Change or the Z Orb or whatever it's called. Uh, I keep forgetting the name of it uh, for Gohan. Okay, little uh, youth Gohan or whatever from the Cell Saga, which is pretty cool. It looks like he's using the Masenko, if I'm not mistaken. They also reveal Nimbus, Flying Nimbus, as an ability, which is pretty cool. And Trunks, future Trunks with uh, the Burning Attack, which looks really cool. You do get their Drip, which is dope, uh, whenever you use this ability. And it looks like there is a sort of sliding um, ability or whatever, which is... This, this game is really, really... I'm not saying like the whole thing is inspiration, but it's the the inspiration and everything behind this is like you know kind of like what like Fortnite for example. I know Fortnite. I just recently uh, played the game or whatever, and they have a cool like sliding ability or whatever. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, again, flaunting your ass ability from uh, Bulma or whatever, which you already knew about. Uh, they're just talking about the special editions, what will come with the pre-order bonuses and stuff. Uh, Android 18's like kick that to vegeta that, that's her special dragon change ability or whatever so that's pretty cool um we already saw this in the leaks that gohan uh youth gohan and future trunks were going to be the uh abilities integrated into it but uh we haven't seen any like actual screenshots of them using the attack so that's really cool i'm excited for that hopefully um the beta will be good and uh, whenever the actual release comes out, they'll have, like, you know, more and more characters and stuff. So, again, very generic shit. Nothing special here. It's just a page of a cover of the main box art or whatever. So, let's go over the translations here real quick. Um, again, there's nothing nothing on here that we didn't already know. Crazy Finger Shot, Explosive Wave, the Scouter Skill, Fourth Form... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing on here that we... I mean, this is this was all in the last beta, okay? If you played the beta or if you've seen the trailer that they released um, a while back in August, then you're good to go. You're caught up on it. So, I, I want to just go over the bootleg translations real quick for this page because they're so bad. <laughs> a new Transformer. Sun Wuhan. Sun Wuhan. Not Gohan. It's Wukong, but Wuhan. And he's juvenile. <laughs> <laughs> juvenile so i'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the tr horrible translation but it's supposed to be sun gohan youth or whatever um or they call him teen in the fucking games which is i don't understand why they do that because he's like nine ten years old eleven years old or whatever um again i think that is the misenko I'm, I'm i'm hoping that is that's what it kind of looks like but it's a sky in muscle dawn Move inside. Light is a raider in the Gingiva survivor skin. I'll be able to fly trunks. Tack? Is that supposed to be trunks? Suda on the slope. Idling movement. Yeah. So, slide. Boost accelerated charm raider is also amazed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then everything else we know. So, that's it, guys. Um, Like I said, just expect another beta to be here. Uh, pretty, not soon, soon, but, um, before the game comes out, there's going to be at least, I know for a fact they're going to do one more beta. They always do that. They did it with Fighters, they did it with Jump Force, and they did it with Xenoverse 2. Um, they always do one beta, like, right, right before it releases, just to make sure that the online is doing well, which usually it doesn't really do well, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm excited, man. Gohan and Trunks uh, being integrated. Good luck on the raid. Have fun, and thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated on more news and content coming your way. Peace.
<laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet. <laughs>